Welcome to Stitch Your Art Out. I'm Cynthia and I'm the owner here and I'd love to talk to you about my shop a little bit. This side is the quilting side and as you can see I like bright colors. So we have a lot of bright colors in this shop and I try to make sure that almost any color in the rainbow is in here. I also love collaborating with you on everything you do. I like shops that are not just come in and buy stuff, but come in and solve your problems. So that's what I do the, the most, and I love to do it. Um, that's what gets me up in the morning, is being able to help people all day long. The main thing I think about shops is not what we have, but what we do with what we have. So I'd like to show you a few things that I've been working on that might inspire you. And I hope in turn, in the comments below, you will inspire me. We're always doing lots of things in here, and I would love to show you one of the quilts that I've been working on lately. This was actually a block of the month from a couple of years ago, and I finished finally writing it up in a good way. So the pattern is available on my website if you like the quilt. And let me show it to you. Come on. How fun is this? We called this Cave and Friends at the time. It was a quilt all about friendship, and we used mainly fabrics from the Cave Facet Collective and probably a few others here and there as well. We figured we're all quilting friends, so we don't have to stick with just Cave, and I'm sure he won't mind. So here are the blocks for this quilt. It was actually a really cool concept. We had blocks that were 12 and a half inch square and they were split into two sides, cool and warm. So you can see the block that I just pointed out is actually here. When we put all these blocks together into this quilt, it ended up looking like one big warm block and one big cool block, but actually, each block is made up of four pieces that attach to other blocks. This is a smaller version of it that I did, and it's basically a log cabin, as you can see. So you can put the warm and cool sides into different arrangements on the quilt. And this one I used sort of a diamond arrangement. How fun is that? If you're interested, go to stitcherartout.com under online shop and then quilting pattern. The other thing I've been working on lately is masks. Now, I know, I know, sorry, but I've designed a mask pattern that I think is really cool and that's also available on the website and I'd like to show it Here to you. Here it is. It goes on. It's shaped a little like the Creative Grids mask but it's a little bit bigger, so it has more under your chin, which I like, more protective, and then it has Velcro on the straps. So you put it on. There you go, and you can pull your hair out from under it. I was worried about Velcro with hair because my hair is a little bit on the long side, but it actually is just fine. So this is a cave facet print, obviously. Don't we love it? but you can use any print at all, and I've been having a lot of fun. I am gaining a mask wardrobe because we all need those right now. The really wonderful thing about this pattern is not only just the coverage on the face, it doesn't fall down, and it doesn't ride up into your eyes, so two bonuses. It also has a nose piece, and I found that when I'm wearing my glasses, they have not fogged yet. I won't guarantee that yours won't, but mine have not so far fogged. So that's, that's pretty exciting. And the Velcro is very easy on and off. Everything stays put. It's, a, it's as comfortable as I think a mask can possibly get. So I hope that you're um, interested in it. And as I said, the pattern is available on the website. I've sized it for both adults and children because I know that a lot of people need kid things. So it's kind of nice because kids can just take it on and off with the Velcro. This is not a mask print.
produ mass produced mask. There are um, darts that you make in the bottom to shape it and um, you have to put the lining on, you have to put interfacing on, you have to sew on Velcro. So it takes a little bit more time to make than the rectangle masks, I do admit. But if you're sort of fed up with the rectangle masks and wearing them, this might be a really good alternative for you. There's a little bit more to this shop than just quilting. Let me show you some of the knitting side of this shop now. Along with designing quilting patterns, I also love to design knitting patterns. I have a whole line of patterns called Really Clear Designs, which you can see at reallyclear.com. And this is one of the shawls that I designed. How beautiful is that? This is called Chevron Sandbox because I felt like it was doing chevrons and playing in the sandbox of color. So I wear this all winter long, wrapped around my neck like a huge, warm, yummy scarf. I love it so much. I wore it all last winter. I'm waiting for the winter to come back so I can wear my chevron sandbox again. I've designed Christmas stockings. Santa paws. Arf. Ah, hum sheep. And meowy Christmas. Apparently I like bad jokes. This is a hat called Scrap Keeper. It's for those who like to keep scraps of yarn and don't know what to do with them. You can do patchwork with knitting as well as quilting. This is a hat I designed called Bead Isle because it's like Fair Isle only with beads. I love this hat so much. I love beads. And then I do a lot of how-to patterns. So this hat is called Cabling 101. It looks good and you actually learn how to cable to the right and to the left. And that way you've learned almost everything you need to know about how to cable. I encourage you to come to my shop or to go online and look at my patterns and then go to your own shops and make beautiful things all the time because there's a lot of pleasure in that and I think that during this whole COVID shutdown mess, we as crafters are the best off of all people because we actually can do things that we still find enjoyable and fun. And we all need some fun in our lives every day. So go out and have fun and craft.